Hey, welcome to JG3 Reviews. My name is James, and I review a lot of fountain pens, especially here lately. And uh, I've, I've got another sneaking up over there at the side of the screen. This one is, for those of you familiar with Parker pens, this isn't one. It looks an awful lot like a Parker Sonnet, uh, but it, it definitely is not. And let me just do a little parenthetical thing here right quick. If you want a Parker Sonnet, by all means, get the actual Parker Sonnet. Uh, but if you're looking for a, an inexpensive uh, Chinese fountain pen with a little bit of style, is this the pen for you? Well, let's see. I've read several reviews before I bought this to see uh, whether or not, because I'd seen it and I like the style of it, to see whether or not it was actually a good pen. I reviewed another Bauer pen not that long ago, and I'll put the link up there uh, for you to go and look at that review because that was an excellent pen, or at least the one I bought was absolutely fantastic, and I, I, I really like that pen. And I wondered, could is, is Bauer a good company in general? Do they put out good pens? They get a lot of good reviews, uh, or is it hit and miss? So I, I bought this pen partly just to have more experience with Bauer, and partly because I really liked it, and partly because I might have an addiction to fountain pens. It, it, it might be bad. There might need to be an intervention, and I think my wife might even have one planned. Quite possible. Uh, but I got this pen and to see. And what I found is a little bit mixed, and so I want to share with you what my experience is with the, uh, the Bauer 388 and whether or not I think it's a good pen and a recommendable pen. We'll, do, we'll look closer at the design, and we'll do a writing test, and then I'll give you my conclusion here in just a second. But first, let's flip that camera and get a closer look at the Bauer 388. All right, let's take a closer look at the Bauer 388. Now, let's just start off with the style. The style by Parker is quite nice. Uh, it is, again, a mid-century modern designed pen, and so uh, just nice and simple and classic design. Uh, Bauer has put uh, around the, the band their logo, and so that is there with the uh, model number on the back, the 388, and that's all nicely done. Uh, I think the pen is, is pretty well made. It feels good in the hand. The, the, the materials feel fine. It's not a, a high-end pen. It's a stamped uh, clip. The clip is nice and stiff. That's good. That matters to some of you. And just a, a simple finial at the top, just a, a black blank in the center of that. And of course, it's rounded off at the other end. So a very simply styled pin. Let's open this up and take a closer look there. It clicks into place uh, very well. Uh, one thing I have found about this pin, and I don't know if this is all of them or mine, but it really doesn't post. It's so loose that posting just isn't going to happen. Uh, for writing, that's fine. It's, it's a classic length full-size pen, and it writes really well unposted, so no big deal. I typically like to post so that I just know where that pen is, and it's not... It, see, where I would typically put it, I'm going to knock that off and fling it across the table probably here in a second just while I'm doing this, so that's why I usually don't do that. Take a closer look at the nib, if I can get a good shot of that. Lighting's a little, ah, there we go, there we go. And it is a typical uh, Bauer branded nib. And I find that uh, the, the other Bauer that I had wrote wonderfully, straight out of the box. This one, I had to do a little bit of tuning. Now, I'm not, I'm not complaining about that. A lot of pins, a lot of Chinese pins uh, come needing a little bit of tuning, but honestly, uh, a lot of people find that they're pens that they pay 50, 60, 70, 80, 100 dollars for. Need the same kind of tuning. So that just is part of the fountain fin. Fountain fin. Wow, can, did you hear that? The fountain pen experience. That's just the way that goes. But when it was all said and done, it, they were easy fixes. And now the pen, I think, writes well, as we'll see in the writing test. Now, this is just a plain black pen. You notice there's a little bit of a, a different color there on the section and kind of in this lighting actually looks kind of cool and a little bit of a purple hue there but uh, it is just a black pen with a black uh, section and just a simply styled pen. It comes with the standard Bauer converter and I find that that works just fine. I've got this fully inked up as you can tell with some Noodler's uh, black ink 
and uh, that works just fine. The converter works just fine. And it will also take standard international or short uh, ink cartridges. So if you don't want to mess with bottled ink, then uh, you can just use those ink cartridges. But hey, it's a fountain pen and it's got a converter. Go get you some cool ink. I've just been using black here lately in a couple of pens uh, just for uh, stuff around the office and so that's why this is loaded with that. Otherwise, you know, go get a, a great color that you really like. There's so much variety out there and that's part of the coolness of a fountain pen. So let's uh, do a quick writing test and I'll tell you what I think about this pen. Okay, so let's see how the Bauer 388 writes. And again, I've had to do uh, some tuning on this one So I kind of know how it it writes I know all its little quirks and all of that when I ordered this pen it came to me uh, Stated as a fine now. There's no marker on the nib So I don't know if uh, it really is a fine, but it did not write like a fine it wrote like a broad uh, Did not even write like a medium now it writes uh, Really, I'm gonna say that it writes a fine to medium and really I think it writes like a lot of good medium pens that I have it was it was a little bit of a it was a little bit of a disaster really the nib uh, when I got it so I had to tighten the tines closer together I had to bring them closer to the feed um, it seems like maybe there was a little bit more that I did and I did uh, some micro mesh. But let me tell you this, that's, none of that's a big deal, okay? I don't think any of that's a big deal. If you need a pen to be perfect right out of the box, there are lots of places you can get a pen like that. And sometimes uh, Bauer, my last Bauer was absolutely perfect right out of the box, really like that pen. Uh, but part of the fountain and pen experience is doing a little bit of tuning and customization and things like that. Uh, I, I came very close to simply replacing the nib with something else. However, I kind of wanted and enjoyed the challenge of getting this pen to write well. And actually, uh, even though it's not as fine as I expected, I think I've now got this where I really do like it. So uh, this is a Noodler's ink. It's the same one I've used in the past review or two and will be uh, using here in and another one not too long from now. This is a, a Noodler's ink. It's just a basic black ink, a permanent black ink. Noodler's, I think, does a great job. The pen still writes a little wet, and that I like. That's not a problem. Uh, I, think I've, I think I've actually got it to where I, I don't want to mess with it anymore, the nib, because I, uh, I'm really pleased with where it is now. Uh, none of the issues that I had when I first bought it still exist, and I like that. Uh, Ooh, almost lost count. Um, it does still, as I said, it does write wet, and you can see that there, but I don't think that's too bad. Um, what else to tell you about the pen? It, it, it now writes really well. It writes smoothly. It feels very good in the hand. Uh, the materials are good. You know, other than my issues with the nib, the rest of the build quality, I think, is quite good for its price range. Um, it's never going to be a uh, Parker Sonnet. I feel like that's the elephant in the room. Uh, it's never going to be a Parker Sonnet and I actually, this is what I would like for Bauer to do. I wish they would just stop using a Parker-esque clip. I get that the style now is iconic even among Chinese pens, but I, th I feel like the arrow clip belongs to Parker, period. And uh, Jinhao, for example, does a great job and they're part of the same overall company. Uh, they do a great job of being inspired by, but not blatantly copying. And so I, I would like for Bauer to do the same thing. I think if they did that, uh, I'd be even more pleased with the looks of the pen. To come up with a creative difference, uh, differentiator here where the clip is concerned. Uh, other than that, you know, I like the looks of the pen. It's a nice pen. It's well made. And now that I've messed with the nib enough, it actually, it writes quite well. And I like the way that it writes. It's kind of funny that, the, that it doesn't post. The cap is very secure in its friction fit uh, when you put the cap on. And I just give you a little bit more of a, a writing sample here so you can see. But I just think that it writes really well. It keeps up with me just fine. Uh, and so I would I recommend it? You know, I would. I, I think probably you're not even going to have the problem with the nib 
that I did. My other Bauer again just came out of the box really, really riding well and I haven't done a thing to it. Uh, but what little issue I had with this nib was easily, easily tuned. And uh, even on much more expensive pins, you're sometimes going to have to do a little bit of tuning and that's not really a bad thing. So would I recommend the pin? Uh, it's only a few bucks. Uh, get one, try it out and see what you think. It might be a great pen for you. I think it's a nice looking pen. Uh, so check it out. Be sure and like and subscribe and share and come back for the next review. And I'll see you then. God bless and have a great week.